And this block to this shot type rather will do more fancy things later on, but that's quite a ways in the future. And it's kind of a, a tutorial room for it here. As you can see, you need to turn the slimes in a box so you can jump past the spikes. Oh, yeah. and good job. Yes, I was killed by a bee. How fitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even realize that. But yes, there are bees in this game. <laughs> it's, it's, it, that's why we chose to LP it. <laughs> now oh, and once you turn enemy to a block, it's a block forever in that same position. So uh, don't screw up. Well, until you leave the room. Yeah. Now, one thing that neither of us has mentioned is that the timing for jumping and shooting things is actually incredibly tight. Yeah. So I have have a lot of experience with it, so I'm actually not failing at it constantly like you will if you play this game, which you should. The controls in this game, like we said, are good, but they're also quite tight, and that comes uh, across most fluently i don't know I'm, I'm trying to use words and failing here but it comes across pretty well when you're trying to jump and shoot at the same time because it's kind of hard to aim i don't even remember if i'm supposed to be in this room yet i, th I think, think this whoa that I would think, have killed me <laughs> i think this room just leads to some uh like, like a chest or something well that's what a lot of the rooms do yeah uh, the late game especially likes making you go through uh, literal hell and then just giving you, like, a coin. What the fuck? I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there are several, like, several of the hardest rooms in the game that your reward for beating them is just a coin and nothing else, not even, like, another room. I guess you consider this the first major Kaizo room because it's got a lot of traps for you in store. I think I, I I like the traps because the first time you're gonna you're gonna get killed by them, but it still takes skill to dodge them the next time because you have to remember where they are and kind of plan your movement around them. And the traps in this room are really obvious anyway. Yeah. I think there's only a key up here. Yeah, I've been all around and haven't seen anything, and something here is gonna kill me. There we go. Boom. So now I get to climb up some beads again. Did Donkey Kong Country even have yellow bees? Yeah, the first one did. Fuck the first one. So did the second one, I mean... Ah, I the, guess the only, one without, the only one without yellow bees is the third one, which is... That's why the third one sucked. It didn't have <laughs> yellow bees. Oh, shit. <laughs> As you can see, even for a veteran, per se, and that's a heavy emphasis on per se, uh, <laughs> jumping and shooting can be pretty hard. Oh, shit. And uh, I think you're fucked there. Yeah, I am. Oh, and in case you couldn't figure it out from the uh, map screen, each row, oh of, <laughs> each row of floors is a different theme in terms of uh, background, tile set, and music. That's not actually how it works. Uh, the first row is 10 levels, which is its own theme, but after that, the themes are 15 levels long each. Are they? Oh. I never really noticed that. Well, it's hard to keep track of how many floors you're going through because the game uh, just randomly has the rooms completely out of order. Like, you'll go from room right. 13 to 18 to 17 to 20. Yeah, the, the room count being linear is only really for the first first two areas or so. So these pipes do exactly what you think they do. Look at that. They grant you all your wishes like like QB. Uh no, they then no not that. They can oh, okay. uh, keep your shot going for a long time because they refresh the distance your shot can travel with each pipe it goes through. And here we've got a shot puzzle. Something like this shows up a lot in this game. Where you have to knock something around before making it a platform. Let's see. Yeah, you can't go through there yet. No, I That's... have to deal with this nonsense first. Uh, I f think I want to go this way first. Yeah, I think you wanted to get some magic, actually. Oh, probably. But... No, this is right. 
Okay. This room actually has a couple tricky things in it, if I recall correctly, like this. Yeah, this is probably the, uh... Oh, and this jump right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is probably one of the harder rooms in the early game. It's it's kind of showing you what, what the game really expects you to be able to do and handle. Which is, in this case, some pretty tricky timing and hitboxes. Yes, the hitboxes in this game are rather large, for the most part, except for the bullets, which are pretty tiny, but your character's hitbox is large, so... Later on, you're going to be... Good job. Later on, you're going to be abusing ducking a lot, because it makes your hitbox much, much, <laughs> much smaller. Except it makes your hitbox wider. Yeah. Which is... But for the most part, that's actually not that much of a problem. It makes a difference in the rooms with a lot of, uh... A lot of Denmaku. Can you figure out what to do here? Well, Kefa just did it, so... Yeah, sorry but, yeah, for the spoilers. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, there's a turret up there. But yeah, blocks will stop lasers. Much like any number of other video games. Though... Yeah. So these turrets, they shoot bullets, and there's absolutely no way to stop them. Yeah. You can, you can come here with every in-game power-up. You, can you can't do anything to the turrets. Ever. Now the, the timing here is much tighter than it might look. In fact, I fully expect to die here several times. Well, not so much timing as the hitboxes themselves. You, yeah, you need to stand pretty... pretty exactly on the, the below the box. Well, I screwed that sentence up royally, but you get you get the idea. Yeah, I find it much easier to just run under the block while a laser is on top of it and to try and get perfectly beneath it. Whoa, okay. watch out. And you're running a little low. Into oh, the dash. The dash oh, is... Uh, whoa, there's some slowdown. That's no good. There we go. So the dash makes you dash, as you might expect. It's... Whoa, shit, I'm running out of time. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty close. I didn't even realize time was an issue there. So the dash uh, makes you hover above spikes and all other floor panels. Like it, I didn't bounce on those uh, arrow blocks earlier. Now, one thing to know about the dash is you do not have control of your character. We'll call her Asakura-chan. Uh, you do not have control of Asakura-chan while you're <laughs> you're doing a hover dash. So basically, you hold it down the longer you want to go, and you get, kind of have to figure out when the correct time to release it so that she comes out of the dash is. Yeah, I've determined that it works in uh, cent incre increments of movement. Yeah. So you'll always move maybe like three blocks or six blocks, but never anything in between. Those are just examples. I don't know if those are the actual numbers. Uh, you'll see what we mean in uh, floor on this level, I think. If I ever stop falling off these platforms. Yeah. And this is just some good old-fashioned platforming. Nothing special to it. Except for the most part, these platforms are arranged to have as little of a pattern as possible. <laughs> which is fantastic. Or rather, they have patterns, they're just not immediately obvious what they are. <laughs> like that one. Oh. Why is it slowing down when I get MP? That's annoying. Whatever. This game is, like, really advanced graphics, so it makes sense that it's slowed down. <laughs> Is this oh. the direction I want to go? I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure this is Lisa's treasure and stuff. You might as well get it. So, Oh, and there's a big enemy. I think this is the first one we've seen that will actually take more one than one shot to kill. Oh, it took your two. Rate of, your rate of fire is actually quite fast in this game as long as... Like, once a shot disappears, you can immediately fire another one. So if you get close to stuff, you can take it out pretty quickly. Now, this room is pretty easy because you have unlimited mana, but 
Mana. There's a lot of s MP, whatever. Should I call it no. SP? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that seems to be the current trend. Really. I'm not sure the, what the last game I saw MP actually being used in was. I can't think of it either. But anyway, there's rooms like this later in the game that don't actually give you very much MP, and those are hard. Wow, I, I can't believe you made that jump. <laughs> well, didn't you say that I was a, a veteran, per se, at this game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I don't think you can get that key right now. No. You need, uh, you need I, to get the bubble the key. Yeah, the I bubble key. Correctly. There is sort of a double jump esque power up in this game, but you will not be getting it until the end of the game if you even manage to find where it is. So do not do not <laughs> assume you'll be coming back with a double jump because it's more. It, it's pretty much like a bonus optional item. It's uh, so when you see stuff like that, assume that there's some way you're missing in the room to get it because you're not getting a double jump. Except for the ways, except for the times when you're not missing anything, you do have to come back with later power-ups. But there aren't many of those. So this, uh, for some reason, this magical ring makes it so the star shot here can interact with these blocks. And I'm running out of fucking time again. God damn it! Oh, uh, whatever. I'll kill myself. I can't even kill myself properly. <laughs> Yes, this is one of the few games where you'll find it difficult to kill yourself when you try. So, yeah, that that uh, upgrade allows me to interact with the colored blocks. I don't really know why they had to make an upgrade for it. This is slowing down at random times. That is not pleasant. Because you don't see these colored blocks at all before you get this upgrade. Well, I'm guessing it's there because you can head back and proceed to the uh, the boss of this level without getting this, without going this direction. So, I guess they just want to make sure you you're familiar. You can just shoot the. Oh, oh that's yeah. that's right. They only affect the color that they are. And you'll see ones that are multiple colors later, and they'll affect multiple colors at once. So we and gotta... right, this room is a dead end with just a key so you can go ahead and do it some trickery with the uh, the box here ah. oh wow I fucked that up yes yes you did this is luckily this is one of the puzzle rooms in this game and most of those oh <laughs> fuck me most of those don't delight in killing you nearly as much as the rest of the game does yeah Instead, they just make you want to tear your hair out and kill yourself in real life, which is an improvement. <laughs> this is kind of a, that's kind of kind of tricky timing there. Actually, you need to shoot it and then immediately jump. <laughs> there we go. There, there you go. And so, this is another you're gonna need to shoot and jump. All right, and you can see the little treasure chest down there. We've been on the other side of this room before. So now we've gotten everything in here, and we can never come back to it. Well, we can come back to it. Like, if the room gets lonely, we can come back and like comfort it, but we don't have any use for it now. I think I've done everything here. Yep, okay. So that's one of the pathways out of this room. There's a couple of others. What does the bubble key in this room even do? I think it opens up a path to the chest. Oh, right, right. Oh, yes, the dash also makes you move a little bit faster, which generally well, isn't that helpful, but sometimes it is. And I don't actually want to be on this side of the room. So we'll use our trusty death teleport. Yeah, for the most part, the dash, you, you don't really want to be moving quickly because you're going to die and run into stuff, but it can be kind of convenient when... When it wants to be, I guess. <laughs> oh, that. But the funny thing is, I'm just going to kill myself anyway. Yeah. And I think that's the first instance we've seen of uh, spikes that disappear when you jump into them. 
you can assume those will show up many times. Yes, it's a nice change of pace from the spikes that kill you when you jump into them and the walls that turn into spikes when you jump into them. Why not? What the fuck is giving me slowdown after every chest? That's so weird. That is kind of weird. I guess it's some effect the chests are doing. All those stars don't give me slowdown, which is good because then we'd have slowdown every time I die. <laughs> so this room, uh, like if I just hit the dash right here, just hit it once. It, well, wow, that still killed me. Yeah. Okay, well, that was a failed demonstration. Besides, it's easier to just do that. Yeah. But, like, you tap the dash and you head in a certain direction for a period of time, regardless of how long you hold it. So right here, I think I need to be about right here, and then I hold the dash and just release it there, and I still die, which is great. Yeah. you need to. Uh, this is basically teaching you how the dash works in terms of, like, response to your input. And... It can be easier if you, like, do a jump coming out of it, I think. I've tried that before, and it never really made a difference. Let's try that. Personally, I'm pretty <sighs> good at stopping dashes. It looks like Kefit is not. No, so I'm horrible at it. Feel free to laugh at him and call him a faggot in the comments. Well, you should feel free to do that at any time. But yeah, the trick of that room is actually learning when to start the dash rather than when to end it. That's the trick with most dashes, I find. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Let's see who it is. <laughs> oh, this is gonna make for a record uh, wonderful recording. Okay, uh, be right back one sec. Oh, great, so I'm on my own. This room... I don't remember too much about it, actually. I think it combines a lot of elements that we've learned before. Like, this B has to be pushed before we can use it. Oh, that's... Okay, good. That's good enough. Oh, no, it's not. I guess I get to kill myself. Oh, yes, it's useful to refill your MP when you've got the chance there. Because this room is actually pretty long. Sorry about that. What, what, what did I miss? Uh, you missed me dying when I failed to hit this B properly. Ah, uh, right, right. You need to bump the B around. Oh god, you'll see this mechanic come into play in a later room, and it's a doozy. <laughs> I don't like to think about that room. You might be tempted to dash here, but don't. Well, you need to at the end there, but it's... And this is another room that's kind of tight on time, and you only got a minute. Assuming well, those countdown by seconds. I'm not sure they do. I think they do, but that's never really been an issue for me in this room. This room is just kind of long. And, oh shit. I think I have enough room. Well, now I don't. Those aren't even hard to aim. I wonder what the fuck I'm doing wrong. I think it's just you sucking at video games. Uh, probably. Yeah, you don't need to jump or duck or anything there. Oh, great. You can also just stand on the platform to your right and shoot from there. Yes. And I would have ducked there personally, but whatever floats your boat. Yeah, that actually would be easier. Of course, that's not what's killing me. Yeah, it's the very easy jumps. Uh, those those aerial blocks have massive hitboxes. It's a lot trickier than it looks. But not that tricky. No, it's not, which, well, is a good omen for things to come. <laughs> oh my uh, god. <laughs> you need to get closer to the edge of the blocks before you jump. You're being too cautious. And right there, you stand in one place and you tap it once. It's not that hard. Yeah, I know. That's uh, what I've been doing, and I just didn't do it that time. Well, do it. It, it helps. All right, let's uh, try this again. Duck. Get jump. Ju oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check Twitter while Kefit is doing this. Oh no. 
So this is what's going to happen if I suck too much and die too much on a room. In other words, yes. this is what this LP is going to be about. <laughs> yes. It's going to be about me checking Twitter and seeing what random people have posted. Oh, <laughs> By the way, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Moogie Zero because the more followers I get, the bigger my E penis is. I think the best way to get a, a big E penis is to 100% this game. Because lots of people care about that, you'll become <laughs> yes. a. Uh, <laughs> You'll become an this internet celebrity. This game is extremely <laughs> popular in both Japan and America. It's 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 like the Metal Gear Solid of the <laughs> 2011 games. Okay, I finally got past that bullshit. And uh, now let's hope you don't die. Because there's more tricky stuff in this room. I could very well die here. Oh, that's right, I need to... You still have... No, no, no. Get the, get the block now, and now... Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. By the way, if those uh, blocks close in on you, you die. There is a self-destruct button if you get caught somewhere, by the way. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. There is. I've literally... Could never figure one out. I just hit escape to go back to the title screen. It's oh right, right. It's you hit every key at once and you die. Oh really? Yeah. Try it. Okay. No, I'm not dying. Are you hitting all of the keys? I uh, if by all the keys you mean every single key on my keyboard, then no. <laughs> well, no, no. Every <laughs> every input key. Yeah, I was hitting them all. Well, it can be finicky sometimes, but yeah, that, that, that is how you kill yourself if you get stuck somewhere. Okay, so this is another checkpoint. This one isn't terribly important since you can get most of the stuff here on your first time through. But it's nice to have. Well, you sound like you're playing Step Mania there. Oh. Well, uh... I'm not. So this is a wonderful puzzle room. Let's see if I can remember what the fuck I need to do to get the key in the chest. And I not bore you to death. That's that's not it, no. Okay, this would be a time when you can kill yourself, but you can also just return to this start, I guess. And this room is simpler than it looks. I just is I don't remember the solution either, to be honest. It's simple to get through. That's all you have to do to get through it. But to get the key in the chest is a lot more complicated. Yeah. Uh, and shoot the green there, and you're free to the key. This one. Shoot the no. No. Hmm. I think you're. S no. I'm not even sure how I did that, but it worked. Okay, so, shoot the green one on the right again. And then I have to hit... Yeah, and this looks... Shoot to the... Uh, I no. Guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And somehow I, I can still hit that one. As you can see, this game is... Uh, it, it, it knows how to do these things very well. Yeah. Oh, one thing you'll notice is since I didn't actually die in this room, it didn't save me getting the key. Yeah, that's a funny quirk. You have to die to actually save your progress in a room or go to uh, an the next room from a door. Okay, so getting the key is easy, though. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. I think you're going to want to shoot the, the blue, blue block on the right. That didn't work. I know this is some... Ah, this is where I want to be. Okay. And then you're going to shoot the red block on the right. And then the red block on the... Uh, yeah, there you go. 
And then... Hmm. Hmm. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That, that really doesn't, doesn't work. work. <laughs> and now you're stuck again. Yes, this is one of those wonderful puzzle rooms. This is one of the simpler ones. There is a room along this lines, uh, along these lines, in the final area, and it's more or less oh, fuck. impossible. Yes, don't shoot that block. I I'll learn from my mistakes one of these days. We've established you want to shoot the 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 blue block on the right when you get over there. Try shooting the red block in the There left. we go. Oh, there you go. So now I need to make sure I can get out of here without killing myself. I think this will do it. No, it won't. Okay, shoot it. Just kill yourself. Oh, on this the will. This block. will do it. There we go. Yeah. In fact, you wanted to get out of there with killing yourself. It, you can probably get out of there some other way, but that's just much simpler. Yeah. And you don't want to get stuck, so killing yourself is actually very useful there. And you'll notice the theme with the block puzzles there, that most of the blocks, you did not want to shoot at all. They were just there to screw you over. So most of the block puzzles are not really puzzles so much as they are just figuring out a trick. Or a specific way of getting through them. Which I guess constitutes a puzzle, but what would I know? What would I know? Nothing. Right. Oh, so that's you something you'll there. find by accident at some point. There are a few places like that where you think you're going to die and you don't. Oh, and that sign is talking about invisible floors. Yes, uh, there's invisible floors. Some of them become visible when you step on them. That some of them is important. One thing to note is that the floors exist before you step on them, but they're not solid. <sighs> what I, I'm a fucking this idiot. is going to be important to remember in a few places. So you need to step on them before they become solid, or touch them in some way, rather. I always hated this room. Yeah, this is kind of an annoying room, because it, it go, you have the bees at the start, and they're just annoying, and it goes on a while for turrets and all that. Luckily, I can afford to miss that one. I don't know if you get into these mechanics as yet, but, I mean, it's, there's not really any spoilers in this game, but there are... Uh, blocks that appear like that you have to hit them from a certain direction to make them appear so like if you hit these from the bottom they, the bottom they would not show up if you hit them from the left to right they would not show up either the and game, there are blocks that only appear from those directions too yeah the game doesn't really fuck around with that until later and well the room it's worth keeping in mind yeah the room where it really fucked you over with those i have good memories of that one in fact, I think it's kind of hard to even understand the concept of how they work until you get to some of those later rooms. Yeah. Because most of the time, you can only really activate them one way. There's no reason and to jump here. I'm just jumping over the shots preemptively, kind of. Yeah, you'll be safe as long as you just keep going to the left there. And... Yeah. And I'm actually going to go back... Because there is a door right under there. Yes. There we go. And sometimes they'll block, kind of block you off from areas with blocks like that, so they're not always your friends. Oh, this room. This room. Yeah, this room. It wasn't as bad as I remember it on my second time yeah. through it. Thing you need to remember is that when you start, is that when you when you duck, your your hitbox is actually your sprite at all times. So you can be hit when going into a duck or out of a duck. And coming out of a duck can actually make your hitbox a bit wider. So you want to make sure you're completely clear of anything before coming out of it. I hope that made sense. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty evident from the graphic that she gets wider when she ducks. Well, I mean, the graphic can be whatever it wants. The hitbox doesn't necessarily correspond, but in this case it does. Yeah, that's true. This game is pretty good about uh, corresponding the player's sprite to the hitbox. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually one thing it does well, I think, is making the player's hitbox intuitive. And this room is really all about patience. It's long, but it's not hard as long as you keep your cool and don't do that. Yeah, don't be me. Don't don't try to rush it. Well, I was actually trying to rush it to get a better um, layout of spikes on the bottom because all the moving parts down there are moving off screen. Like, one of the things you can keep in mind to make this game more bearable is that everything is in a set position when you start a room. So when you die or when you enter a door. And if yeah. you learn based off that set position, uh, it'll help you a lot to figure out how to get through some of the more bullshit stuff. Yeah, like I said earlier with the Don Maki slimes, everything is going to be kind of on the same timing. So you need, like a lot of rooms, it helps if you develop your own timing for how to deal with them. Which is pretty much what I'm doing here. Yeah. Also, if you go back to this room with the high jump boots, it's pretty hard. <laughs> I imagine. Uh, I can think of one late game item that would make this room a lot easier, though. Yeah, yeah, it would. I don't think I found this room for some reason until like late game, but I I'm not really sure what I was doing with that. So speaking of hidden floors, yeah. The only way to figure that out is just to try it because you've given up on absolutely everything else. Well, I Whoa. mean, okay. I, I kind of expected something like that just from the layout of the room and the fact the chest is up there. I don't think that's too hard to figure out on your own. It's not. The first time I came to the room, I couldn't figure it out because I thought I needed another power-up. Oh, and in general, when you're dealing with stuff and spikes on the floor, you're going to want to jump the spikes on the floor if you can, because you don't want to deal with the, the, the dash in addition to all the other stuff moving on screen. Except, like, right there. And, Boom. yeah, let's just uh, get back to the top there. You might notice that your reward for doing all that is a single coin. Get used to that. Oh, that, that was a pretty good demonstration there of... Yeah. The fact that you can go through the hidden uh, walls one way, but they come solid when you go through another way. The hell's this room? Oh, this room. Yeah, this room. You're going to be tempted to just try and dash under all these at first, but that's not going to work. Yeah, it's actually not that hard to make the ceiling here. I just suck. Yeah, massively. You might remember this uh, from making coin bridges in every Mario hack. Oh, block bridges, rather, but you get the idea. I suppose it is a similar concept. Though less annoying in implementation. I don't think any of the levels actually require you to make bridges to walk on like that, though. By the way, there's no hidden blocks for the last few, so if you think there are, you'll just kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> this game is nice like that. What's this sign say? Uh... Oh, this is just talking about how the blocks work, <laughs> what we've just been describing. No, that says that there are also blocks that work when you walk into them from the side. Oh. Well, I guess I didn't look at it long enough then. I think the first sign here is just explaining how they work in general. Yes, and this one. section is actually pretty tricky. Yeah, I have to remember how opinion. to do it. I think you can fall here and there. 
and then you want to stick. Yeah, it's it's pretty tricky timing though. I think. No. Uh, okay, now I I had to see the bottom there to remember it fully. There are some sections of this game that are gonna surprise you with how simple they look, but are actually pretty hard to do. Well, I think that's a lot of the stuff in this game. Yeah. See, like, the way I would describe this, like, the gameplay and difficulty in general is that the the creator expects a lot out of you. So he, he doesn't really coddle you very much with with how everything works. Like, he could have easily made the, the same concept, but with a much easier timing. He didn't, because he expected you to be able to do it with that timing. So there's a hidden block there. Only way to get the key. I think Teru had to tell me that one. Yeah, it's it's one of the more obscure keys early on. And then there's some nonsense up at the top. Oh, uh, there's a maybe even a hidden door in this room. Let's check yeah, it out. Yeah, there is. There's another door in this room. I don't think you can get it until you have the explosion power up, though. I'm not sure, honestly. But, right, it, I. There's something at the top left there. I think well, that's the, the explosion power up for. You don't you don't need the explosion power up, but you need the uh, block breaking power up. And explosion right. power would just make it much easier to do because otherwise you have to knock that slime off onto the pink platform here and then make it into a block, and that's just a royal pain in the ass. Yeah, I actually forgot there was a block breaking power up. Yeah, it's easy to forget because it becomes so uh, second nature after a while. And uh, that might... No, j oh, you, yeah, you, you just missed the secret door. You have to jump to the left where you just were. No, you need a... Uh, you're talking about the thing right here, but you either need block breaking or a bubble key to get that, which is up in the corner where I just was. Am I? I, I pretty should... Oh, well, whatever. We, we can come back to that room later. Well, we'll be coming back to a lot of rooms, so... Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. So most of the hidden stuff in this game is marked in some way. Like that. You can see the block that's off down there. And more lag. Lovely. Yeah, I'm, this uh, incredibly advanced graphics are lagging my... The computer that I actually just built, like, four months ago. The graphics in this game are not fantastic, but I think they serve their purpose and you just use too much MP. Yeah. Well, I think you can miss one shot, but I may as well just start over if I miss it at the start. There we go. This room is where you'll really start to understand just how much of a pain in the ass aiming is. There you go. And, oh, and it, yeah. this is another room where you need to conserve MP by using the uh, gravity shot. I'm really sure why it's called gravity shot, because it just bumps them in one direction and has nothing really to do with gravity. I don't know. It has the force of gravity. I think I'm actually just going to kill this guy. Okay, this uh, that sign explains these rainbow arrow blocks here. When you hit them with the star shot, they teleport you. On, they teleport you to the top of them. Yes, this is important in a few cases. I think there's something down there, but I'm just going to get to the there end of the room. Something. Yeah, there is something down there. But yeah. One thing that you're going to want to kind of abuse later on is making sure you get to a door that's close to what you're trying to do. So there's another path leading over here. That just leads back to the uh, door that we entered this room from. There's nothing else on there. Alright, we've got another boss. This one's actually... Pretty not, difficult. Not terribly difficult, but it's not a pushover like the first one yeah. is. It's, it's kind of... I wouldn't be... I wouldn't have a problem if all the bosses were along these, these lines, but they get pretty bullshit later, to be honest. They get incredibly bullshit later. There's... <laughs> yeah. yeah. This boss is also uh, much more Dan Maku than the first one. Yeah. He follows a set pattern, but 
the bike goes on so long you're not going to be able to remember it. So. Well, I think I remember the basic pattern. I just have to not die. I don't know how you fought him, but I always abuse his pattern by using the a few specific platforms. I just kind of hid in corners and waited until he came to me and spammed the shots on him. Ah, uh, well that sounds like your life in general, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's me. I'm, I'm the guy sitting in the corner and spamming shots. As you can see, not too difficult. You just need to keep an eye on where the bullets are. The main tricky thing are the fast blue bullets, which are aimed. And he can shoot those out at any time. It's especially bad when you have to get close enough to actually hit him. And you're going to notice the common theme of these battles, which is running away. This is problematic in some later battles because it becomes really hard to even get close to the boss, but more on that yeah. later. I don't remember this guy's music, but I don't think it was as good as the other boss musics. It wasn't. It wasn't bad, but yeah. Every boss in this game has unique music, just like yeah. all the areas. Which is kind of kind of lame in some instances because a couple of the bosses have really really cool, cool uh, uh, tracks to go with them, and they're only used for that boss. And the bosses are really gay. So. <laughs> yes, he like the fucking moth. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna enjoy the moth boss when Kevin gets there, I'm sure. Well, and I'm going to probably have to find some like fanfic to read while he <laughs> dies a million times. Uh, they'll enjoy the fanfic set to the music. Yeah. <laughs> you might notice that bosses take a lot of hits to kill. There's no way to upgrade the damage you deal, just so you know. But in effect, getting more MP is kind of boosting your damage because it lets you shoot him more times at once. There we go, and... I don't remember where the key is on this level. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, the extremely obvious... Oh, I think... You... Yeah, you probably the... need block break. Which is in the chest here, I believe. Let's see if you're right. Yeah. Yep, okay. Great power. Uh, there's the chest slowdown that we love so much. Maybe I can figure out what's <laughs> causing that uh, for yeah. our next recording session. Hopefully. But yeah, uh, well, it'll be easy to demonstrate just what exactly this does. So shoot it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> there are there are blocks that you can break. That's pretty much how it works. And they're not marked in any way in any room where they are. So Well, they're... Sometimes, Mark. Sometimes not. That's part of the fun of it. Yeah. Usually, usually if you have to like break in the proceed or something, it's going to be pretty obvious what they are, or you're just going to get fed up and start shooting everything. So, But there are a few that are Let's kind of here. obscure. Those rooms I won't be getting to until much later in the game. Uh, there's this room, the one I missed the treasure in. I have to go back. Let's just get that now. I'm going to have to go back for it someday. Right. And yeah, that's another thing you want to keep in mind playing the game, that there's going to be rooms that you're not going to see for a long time. So if you miss some rooms going through the game, don't worry about it. Actually, Just come back later. You know what? That uh, Getting that either involves incredible bullshit or the explosion power-up, so fuck that. Right. Okay, so this brings us to the third area of the game, which is where I think the game really starts to bear its fangs. Yeah, this is where it starts getting hard. And I think this would be a good time to call it a video for now. I agree. It's been about an hour, so... Alright, so yeah, that's the easy part of the game. Next time we get to the part that's slightly harder, but still a lot easier than the actual hard part of the game. And if you have any requests for fanfics to read, uh, just put it in the comments. Please don't.